While Republicans try and convince us that pedophiles are hiding at drag shows, um, real predators are hiding in establishments that they claim to love, like the police. Uh, this week, the city of Santa Monica made a massive payout uh, in a lawsuit against a former tech worker who was on police payroll and who during his time on police payroll abused over 200 children. That's right, uh, his name is or was, and we'll talk about that, Eric Uhler, who worked as a civilian employee for the Santa Monica Police Department for three decades. And he participated in a program that was called the Police Activities League, which is actually still active. Here's a picture from their website and they describe themselves as offering a free after school programs for youth ages six to 17 who live or attend public school in the city of Santa Monica. Um, they provide leadership enhancement, fitness training, um, bridge the gap between youth, and law enforcement in a friendly and positive environment. Yeah, that kind of environment. Um, uh, Uhler joined the program in the 80s and according to the LA Times, the abuse started almost immediately. Um, he would do a lot of things like hit, get, use his access to the police, even though he himself was not a cop, um, to lure kids uh, with things that generally you know, interest kids like cool police stuff, right? Um, this is one of the uh, John Doe's and the victims are not being named. Who says he bribed me with money, baseball cards, Dodger tickets, lunch. Um, one of the hundreds of former PAL youth who accused Uhler of repeated rape and sexual abuse over two years said um, he also pretended like he was a cop. Um, so this is according to some of his victims. This is jumped down to four. He says some of Uhler's victims recalled he would even turn on the police lights and siren as he drove them home, further enforcing the idea he was a cop working under the color of authority documents summarizing his victims account uh, reveal. He even, uh, this is a, according to another witness or a victim says, he was 12 when he met Uhler, who drove him and other boys around in his Chevy Suburban, which was outfitted with a police radio or in an unmarked police car given to him by the department. He recalls Uhler having a badge and handcuffs and said he even left a gun on the car seat once. Everyone thought he was a police officer. Now, it's important to remember that who he preyed on, um, Current city council member Oscar De La Torre says, um, in this city, this is a black and brown part of the neighborhood. No one in government was watching out for our kids. The Pico neighborhood was marginalized in that era. Um, so that's overall what happened. There's a lot more detail um, and I wanna like get into a little bit of it. Um, but I do wanna say that over the decades, Multiple people, they happen to both be women, one who worked with the PAL, again, this sort of after school program, uh, trying to build trust with law enforcement, flagged that this guy Uhler was spending a lot of time with kids, in fact, a little bit too much time with them. And then another was a, a detective, a woman also, who later, many years later, um, said that this, there's something fishy going on, said to her supervisor, none of it was investigated, none of it. Um, Let's let's just before I kick it to you, Jank, a little bit more. Um, he preyed on these again young, mostly black and brown kids, uh, and um, threatened them. So graphic seven, I could say nothing because my family would go to jail. It was as if he could get away with whatever he wanted. Another victim alleged that Uller began abusing him as a teenager after he was arrested by the Santa Monica police. As a young man, struggled with other run-ins with the law. He was forced to submit to sex acts with Uller, according to his court claim records. The unspoken threat is if I didn't go along with Eric, I would go to jail. Um, yeah, now what finally changed? What happened? Um, well, it seems like they found something on his computer. So retired Santa Monica Police Lieutenant Greg Slaughter, who headed the department's communication center where Uhler was the lead systems analyst, said that one morning in the early 2000s, again, this is decades after, a couple decades after he started, a supervisor turned on a computer for work and child pornography popped up on the screen. Slaughter said he immediately ordered an investigation, which led to, led to Uhler, but he was never interviewed regarding the allegations. Slaughter told a sheriff's investigator that Uhler reported directly to the chief of police, James Butts. The rank structure was overlooked for Eric's behalf, Slaughter said in the sheriff's report. I just wanna say that that man, James Butts, who was the former head of the Santa Monica police, um, what is he doing now? He's the mayor of Inglewood. Anyway, uh, Jank. I just want to kick it to you because there's a lot here, um, decades yeah. of impunity and victims. 
So let's start with this. Um, our right wing media shows talking about pedophilia and groomers nonstop. Well, to be fair to them, they are, right? So are they talking about this case, one of the worst cases of pedophilia potentially in American history? As far as I can tell, not a single right wing host has picked up this case. I don't watch them all. So, and look, easy to prove me wrong. So, especially before we make this video and embarrass them, right? Show me videos they did before this or articles they wrote about this. So why am I making that point? Because they don't give a damn about pedophilia. They're sick people that use kids as a prop to attack people and spread their hatred. Pedophiles and groomers don't go to drag queen story hour. They don't go dancing around with drag queens trying to draw attention to themselves. Where do they go? They go to where they have easy targets and where they know they'll be protected no matter what they do. It's not an accident that there were thousands of cases inside the Catholic Church. Easy targets, kids who are told they must trust authority figures and do whatever they say. And then a clergy that protects them, that protects the, the, the pedophiles and the groomers. Is, is right wing media talking nonstop about the goddamn Catholic Church and the pedophiles? Nope. Where else would you go? Oh, a police program that is supposed to help underprivileged kids, some of whom are undocumented, their families are undocumented, thereby making them perfect targets of a pedophile like this. Because then he could hold it over their heads. He could say, "Oh, I'm going to have your parents deported. I'm going to have them put in prison, etc." And they, as Francesca explained, by the way, usually almost always female cops, but give them credit, they turn them in like nearly half a dozen times. They're like, "We've got him. He's he's he like graphic descriptions from boys. Did though he liked to target boys who were 12 to 15 years old." That he thought were the most vulnerable, but he would go as young as eight. And every time they're like, nope, nope, not gonna investigate him. You wanna know why? Because he helped the cops fix their computers. The computers yes. would often break down, and he was really good at fixing them. And he was really good at doing a databases that they could use. Get a load of this. He was in charge of the criminal database to track criminals, and he was probably the largest criminal in Santa Monica. Also, uh, uh, lots of uh, updated their traffic system. So I'm sure many people, if you got a ticket in Santa Monica in the last 30 years, hey, you gotta thank a pedophile for that one. That's fun, so disgusting. I, I do, I do want to just mention that on the day he was supposed to appear in court, this was 2018. He was charged with multiple counts of lewd acts to a child. Six people came forward to testify. Um, he was found dead by suicide in his uh, Marina Del Rey apartment. Um, actually a telltale sign in a lot of these massive pedophilia cases. I don't know if you guys remember uh, a man who worked um, with Larry Nassar, I believe, um, in, in women's uh, girls gymnastics. Um, was it Nassar? I, I think it was, yes. He also was found dead. So anyway, um, it doesn't mean that these victims still don't deserve justice. And it doesn't mean that this incredible payout um, is not still warranted. So yeah, 40. $42.6 million to settle this uh, this case. By the way, all of the cases combined is over $220 million. And did yes, this son of a bitch yes. pay, by the way? No. Did the cops who protected him for decades pay? No. We have to pay. The citizens have to pay for this sick pervert to molest our own kids. Okay? And is anybody outraged by it? Yeah, of the people who put him away, thank God. Oh, they found him dead. Good, I'm glad. Okay, so if you want to cry about that, go cry about that. Uh, so that at least there's a little bit of justice in that. Uh, but, but do I see outrage in all the media of all the people who pretend to care about pedophiles? No, they don't give a damn. They don't care about the kids at all. They're just like, oh, grab a kid, use it as a human shield, and we'll pretend it's about them, and then spew hatred against everybody. Pretend it's like LGBTQ people that are doing it when it's like Boy Scouts, Catholic Church, cops, and then what do they say? Thin blue line. Thin blue line. We have to protect cops no matter what, and anyone so and anyone fixing comp cops' computers have to be protected over and over again. God damn it! A kid said that he did this thing that is outrageous. Aren't you going to do anything? Well, oh no, 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 no. Oh, he, oh, he, he did you a favor. He would do them all the cops' favors nonstop. Of course, when you're raping little kids, you want the cops on your side. He'd brag about the pictures that he has with cops all the time, and he'd put them all around. 
So he had easy access and complete protection from the cops themselves, the biggest gang. God disgusting. damn it, that's disgusting. Do you actually care about kids at all? And now, of course, you know what the answer is in politics. No one who talks about kids actually cares about them. It's disgusting. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.